<clears throat> Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Southern California Seismic Data video. Today we have a 3.5 to strike near Ridgecrest, California. Undoubtedly one of the aftershocks of the 7.1 that happened July 5th or July 6th, I don't even remember anymore. Well, there was 85 felt reports. Oh, they have it as 3.6 CSGS. Okay, let's pull this up on Google Earth. here it's probably so me personally i looked at all the aftershocks of the quakes and you could see that they go in a line like this and a line like this so it's probably along the fault that goes northwest to southeast so you can see how far away it was from the 7.1 epicenter only about oh no 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 I don't want that. Only about 8.5 miles, so that's not too far. And let's see how far it was from our seismometers. Around 138 miles, so that's a decent distance. But let's look on our infotech, and you see there's decent readings. Actually, Kind of normal readings. We'll jolt here in Menifee, we'll jolt here in Mammoth, P wave, S wave, and then here in Camarillo. So decent readings there. And Raspberry Shake didn't have the biggest readings either. Sorry if it's really slow today, it's been acting weird. Here's the P wave, as you can see, and the S wave, and it starts to fade away there. Here it is here. S wave fades away. Right there. And yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll see you again in the next video.